Okay, so this third video is looking at uh, two very important words, is and are. And also we're going to look at these three combinations of letters. So let's look at the first two. Is is simple word to spell, an I and an S, a, an S. But we pronounce it as if it's is a Z. So it's it's even though it's spelt with an S. R is the first two letters as I'd we'd expect an R and a R, but it's got this um, invisible E on the end. And a lot of letters will have an E on the end of them, which we'll uh, look at uh, in another video. We use is when we are saying something about someone or something. So for instance, the car is fast. We're saying that the car is fast. We're saying something about it. So we use the word is. There are other uses for it. For instance, another big use is when we put it at the start of the question of a question. Sorry. So is it daytime? Is asking. Is it daytime? So we put the is at the start of the question. But the important thing is to remember that it's used to say something about something. We use are when we're talking about more than one thing. So it's used for the same reason as is, but it's when we're talking about what we call a plural. So if I asked you the bear, if I said the bear is brown, it's because there's one bear. If there were more than one bear, I'd have to say the bears are brown because there's more than one of them. The car is fast because there's one car. The cars are fast because there's more than one car. So when you're saying something about something and you want to use is, make sure it's not a plural. There's not more than one of them because then you need to use the second word here, are. The three sounds we're looking at, or combinations of letters we're looking at, are a T and a H or a T and a H, a C and a H or a K and a H, or an S and a H or a S and a H. Now, these sound a lot different to the way they're spelled. They're actually combinations that make different noises, and there's a few of those in the English language. So a T and a H makes the sound TH, or a K and a H makes the sound CH, and a S and a H makes a sound sh. So when you ever see these combinations we've got th or th as well. A ch and a sh. Th or th. Ch and sh. So let's have a look at a few examples. Here the shed is brown. So don't worry too much about spelling the last one. But what we're going to do is look at the in front of this word by here. This s and a h or s and a h is giving me a sh sound. So the shed is brown. Notice how I've used is because I'm saying something about the shed. I'm saying it's brown. The shark is splashing. So you can see the sh in the shark word but in this word by here I've got a in the middle of it as well. So again, remember that these little combinations of letters can crop up anywhere. The ship is short. So we've got the sh at the front of this word and the sh at the front of short as well. Now notice with all of these I've used the z to talk about the object they're not any specific shed, shark or ship. And I've used is because I'm saying something about them. The man is thin. So in this case, the t and the h, the t and the h are giving me a th sound. Thank the parents. So the t and the h by here are th. That th sound, thank the parents. And also note, when I'm using the the, it's the 
z sound instead of the s sound. So we've got to remember that the T and the H can be pronounced in different ways. And this is Tom. So z by here rather than s. So some examples where we use the s in thin and thank, but we use the z in the and this. chops are tasty. So because I'm talking about one more than one chop, there's a sunny hand which tells me that there's more than one of them, I've got to use the word are and the chops has got that C and the H the cut and the hat in front of it so I use ch. Chins are pointy. So again I'm talking about more than one chin so I use are instead of is. And in front of this, I've got a combination of cut and a hat, so it's a ch. I want chips. So the cut and the hat by here gives me a ch. And another thing, notice I put this a line with a dot underneath it. It's called an exclamation mark, and it makes it, as when we use it when we're excited or surprised. So I want chips. It shows enthusiasm in wanting the chips. So, here are examples of the words we've learnt. The ch sound in chain, the sh sound, in, for instance in shout, and the th or z sound, in this case in thank. And we also learnt is and are. Is, when we... Um, saying something about an object or person and are when that person or object is more than there's more than one of them.